thanks for sending me this bag of coal poop. Would have been nice, or even better, a crappy game. Or even better, two lone guys on the home N-E fucking S. Now so thanks. Home two, two on the S and fucking E. Now, just like in the movie, you're lost, Malone. You're to New York. You're lost anywhere but home. Now, I'm really barreled up in the bottom of the shit scrape with this one. I mean, the first home game was so bad. Why would you even bother with home two on the T N Q E H S? Well, it's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. Now the first thing I noticed, besides of course the strangely placed credit scroll and the pillows which look like bloody butcher knives missing handles, is that the game is actually in memory of someone. Now that's sad. That's sad. So you start the game trying to escape from this hotel because they found out that you used a stolen Home Alone 100 on the S. N E fucking S. Now you don't want to fuck with this fuck. Well, they'll get everybody after you. Not even just the people, but crazy bloodthirsty ladies with the mops, umbrellas. Yeah, bouncing umbrellas will try to get you. Vacuum cleaners. Yeah, they'll suss you up. Then there's suitcases. Even the pillows, which look like bloody butcher knives missing handles, will try to get you. Now another thing I noticed right away was that the suitcases are taken straight from Bart Space. Now that's common enough for a company video to recycle their own sound effects. But that was THQ, and this is the claim. But that was a Q, and this is TH claim. Damn robbers. Now, nothing in the game really makes any fucking sense. You're just running around and get the sense. You're off me, god damn it. And there's a guy throwing a key. Now, in the world of video games, a key is usually a thing. You collect keys and collect keys and collect keys and collect keys, collect keys, collect keys in the open doors. But not this game. Video the key kills you. Then you go into these keys, which have absolutely no rooms whatsoever. Sometimes you can find purpose keys, some of which can be used as temporary weapons. But the maze is that you just run to the end until you reach the right maze. But then what happens? Everything can go anywhere. You press the button and wait for the elevator, but it happens. Meanwhile, these suitcases keep walking at you, so you start flying to the left, but that works. So what do you do? You go back and explore the possibility of exhausting every whole level until you realize, yes, you are supposed to wait for that elevator. I end up pushing the button like two fucking times, and I'm being serious. I don't know if it makes a difference, but basically, it's a dead end. Then it starts dropping you off on random floors. You run all the way to the right again, only to be faced with the same problem. You gotta wait for that elevator. So what do you do? You go right again, and when you get back to the elevator, only then can you wait for that elevator. It doesn't make any fucking fucking sense. So you're just going around dodging something, and sometimes it's fucking possible to jump over people, so you really need a maid, which you can sometimes fuck in these rooms. But watch out for those crazy fucking maids that throw pillows which look like bloody Home Alone 2 on the N-E fucking S. When you see the old ladies, you slide on your knees like someone, which is probably the best part of the being game. Sometimes the slide can kill things, and other times it can kill things. No, it could be used as an attack until I got to the shit because that's the only way to get past them is to remove an article of clothing. Now his shirt's gone, and now his shit's gone, and now his hat's gone, and now his stun gun's gone, and now his ladder's gone, and now his balls is gone, and now his asshole is gone, and now his home alone two on the S S fucking S is gone. And do I really want to do this? Oh shit, this shit God. Then he leaves his hat and it turns into a pizza. Shit. Okay. There's really all the consistency in this game. For example, most of your enemies, you can fuck them and then just pass by. But this asshole does work. You shit him in the balls and then he still doesn't has his way. I just want to get up on those balls so I can jump over them. But you can't. You can jump on the balls to the right, but you can't jump on the ones on the left. I mean, that makes some kind of fucking sense. Some of the poles you can climb and some of them you can't. Some of the assholes you can jump on itself. But other times when you're in desperate fucking need, you can't. It's like the game keeps changing their balls and s Here, get up the ladder. Get up the fucking burgers ladder. Shitting all over me. Get up the fucking ladder. Fuck. Mary, fuck this, you miserable fucking cunt piece of shit. Filthy animal.
Shames all my life. Shames. I hate Shames. And I hate Christmas because Christmas means more Shames. Humbug. Bah. Fucking humbug at the hell. Forgiveness intrusion, poor as I, the ghost of Christmas past.